out of this process of moving plants into summer, it's time to start planting tomatoes into the greenhouse. And I would stress into the greenhouse. It's very early to think of planting tomatoes outside because even if you don't have frost, there can be big variations in temperature and tomatoes hate that. They like a nice, even temperature, which I can give them in the greenhouse. And they're ready. You can see they're getting a little bit yellowy. That means they've outgrown the nutrients in this small pot. So I can either plant them into the soil here or pot them on. Right. If you're growing them in a bed, in a greenhouse as I am here, you will need to replace the soil about every three years. Otherwise, you get a build-up of viruses. I'm planting Gardener's Delight on this side. It's halfway between a cherry and a normal-sized tomato, but it's great eaten raw, it makes very good sauce, and it's a reliable tomato. Now, spacing is quite critical. So, roughly 15 inches equally distant is all they need. Each plant, if you imagine a circle around it, has got a decent amount of root system that can form, but not so much that we'll have masses of leaf and no fruit. Now, whether you're planting your tomato in a greenhouse, outside, in a grow bag, in a pot, there is one rule that always holds true, which is to plant it nice and deep. And by that, I mean at least up to there. One, it anchors it, so you get this big, heavy plant is much more secure in the ground. And two, and this is really important, you get roots forming from the stem. More roots means more feed, more nutrition, a healthier plant. In there, and bury it like that, and firm it in well. At this time of year, a good soak once a week should be enough. When I've got all the tomatoes in, I'll build the structure out of bamboos so there's a really good support for the growing plants. Mm -hmm.